I am Kylie from Freedom Vans. Welcome to our latest project. This is a Mercedes Sprinter 144 four wheel drive van that we just wrapped up. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about the exterior of the van a little bit. On the back of the van, we have this Illuminous ladder, um, which takes you up to the roof rack. On the roof rack, we did a full circular exterior light. So we have reverse lights, side lights, and a front high beam, which are all switched at the dash um, with an awning. And then on the roof of the van, we have a 390 watt solar panel, 72 cells, with the exhaust fan in the back. So in this van, we have our water system on the driver's side of the van. This is a 30 gallon water tank with an outdoor shower. And then on the passenger side of the van, we have a 600 amp hour battery system with an inverter and then this nice large gear tray. Um, in the spec layouts, it's going to be a little bit different. We actually swapped these systems. So the water system is on the passenger side of the van and above it, there's space for skis. By the doorway, we put this extra table mount so the interior table can actually come out here and you can have a table space at the height that you would like in this area. Um, and then we always do this, a little cubby in this unused space in this step. Um, and this is such a great spot for like sandals and leashes and headlamps and all that good stuff that you just need to um, use on the go real quick. When you first walk into the van, we have the kitchen space. So this is a solid surface countertop and then we did shiplap in the back behind the kitchen area. Um, we have our nice pull down faucet with a large stainless steel sink. This layout is a little bit different than our spec layout in that we opted to go with a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator, which will make this kitchen more narrow. And then the induction cooktop is actually on the countertop. Um, the induction cooktop will only turn on and get hot if you're using a specific pan. So you can use it as a countertop space, no big deal, um, without, as long as you don't put that specific pan on and turn it on. By making the kitchen space a little bit more narrow and moving the induction cooktop, we have more storage because this will be a drawer for storage. And then we have a little bit more balance of a dining space because this seat next to the kitchen galley will be a little bit shorter and then there will be more space for this passenger over on the passenger side. And then underneath the sink, we have their water panel with the hot water heater on off switch. And then we have monitors for the fresh and gray tank. They do have on and off buttons so that you don't have any little pesky lights while you're trying to sleep in here at night. Um, and then we have storage underneath the sink. This van does have a gray water tank mounted underneath the van, so lots of space for storage underneath the sink, um, as well as our faucet for our modular shower. I'm Nate Murphy, and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. So in the center of the van, we have a little dining area. This dining area is very modular. It can be a lounge or a second bed for probably a smaller person. I'm 5'5 and I can lay here really comfortably and fully extend, so I think it's really comfortable for someone my size. Under one of the dinette seats, we do have a composting toilet, and then in the center of the dinette, the floor of the dinette actually comes off and we can set up a modular shower. The back bed area is a short full-size mattress, um, so it's 54 inches wide, um, although it's 68 inches long. So in our van, we actually sleep side to side like this 
and I again fit <laughs> I fit perfectly the way that this bed is um, Tom will just sleep at a little bit of an angle so it's actually pretty just comfortable for one person definitely to sleep up there by themselves um, but you can also pull this extension out over the dining area and flip up these dining seats and turn this into a nearly king-sized bed so on the driver's side of the van above the kitchen galley we do have an overhead cabinet this van specifically has a microwave and then we also have their control panel for their heater, their underbody fan, and their power system. Over at the foot of the bed, we have a flip down shelf. Um, so when you don't have a lot of items in here, you can have this flipped up, or if you need a little bit more storage space, this flips down. Thank you so much for taking this tour with me today. I'm so excited for the owner of this van and the adventures that this van is going to bring to his life. If you're interested in learning more about our spec layouts, essentially what they are is we offer um, set layouts for both the short wheelbase and the long wheelbase van. However, we kind of started with a base layout and then you have options to add the options that you'd like to make it your own and you also get to choose your own materials. Let me know what your thoughts are um, on this van or our spec layouts, and we'll see you next time. Bye, thank you. You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a van conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, we have a course. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water, and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more and thanks for watching.